Hello, and I'm very, very happy to be here because in this collection, this extraordinary collection, and most of the films that taught me how to make films, films that I love, films that have made me cry, films that have made me laugh, films that have made me feel there's nothing better to be than a filmmaker. I'm going to start with the Apu trilogy. These are life-changing films that I've watched many times, but you can't watch them too many times because they are themselves uh, an education in the compassionate gaze of the filmmaker. The next one I would pick out is Come and See. Come and See, directed by Ellen Klimov, is, I think, the best anti-war film ever made. What I can tell you about Come and See is that the shoot took about a year and they stopped when it was time to evaluate, think, rethink. They would stop for a few weeks and think. And when I heard this, I thought, luxury. Luxury. <laughs> the possibility of actually reflecting on what you're doing while you're shooting rather than being in this kind of mad sprint, this kind of race against time. I saw this originally because I was looking for a Russian DP to film my very English film, Orlando, but which I was going to film sections of in Russia. And so I watched Come and See to see the work of Alexei Rodionov. I was particularly intrigued by his uh, extraordinary Steadicam work, uh, which often Steadicam is, makes one feel a bit seasick, but somehow he used it in this fleet of foot way and I discovered he shot, and with Steadicam he shot barefoot. Now poking out at me here is Dance Girl Dance by Dorothy Arzner. That's an amazing film to see and a, an early female director who was doing really, really, really interesting things in a kind of modest but celebratory way. Now, A Matter of Life and Death, Emma, um, Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. I was fortunate enough to get to know Michael Powell towards the end of his life. He was very helpful to me. Um, something of a mentor, a, a totally a mentor in terms of his life's work, but I had the opportunity to actually be in a room and hit with him and, and have him speak to me about filmmaking. I told him A Matter of Life and Death was my favourite of, of his films, and he said, but it is my favourite too. And it is extraordinarily well written by Pressburger. It's in, in a way a courtroom drama about history and about the relationship and the influence, uh, the, the influences of Europe on, on America and vice versa and who, where people's roots are and where we all really come from and what's new and what's old and uh, in terms of uh, what the generations are and people, national identity, who we consider to be um, when we've come from somewhere else. The fish tank. Andra Arnold, incredibly interesting filmmaker. It's really exploring the life of a, of a teenage girl as she struggles her way through the limitations of, that are imposed upon her by poverty and her life in Britain. But what she does, Andrea, so amazingly, she makes something that makes you fall in love with the people and their, their ability to survive despite their difficult situation. It's beautifully crafted and it's beautifully shot. Well, look, goodbye for now. And I've got this wonderful selection of videos and I could honestly watch all of them that are in this marvelous closet. La Strada, I just have to say a last thing about La Strada. I rediscovered early Fellini recently and where I remember when I first saw Fellini thinking that uh, this film was sentimental and when I saw it recently, I thought, no, it's not, it's not. Uh, so I then had to watch all of early Fellini again, of course, eight and a half and so on. So I'm sorry I've got back into it because it's difficult to say goodbye to such wonderful works. But anyway, bye.